Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1545. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to create random data for a table. And we're going to see the amazing index lookup function and one of the new dynamic array functions, rand array. Now, this dynamic array formula we're going to see in this video, it's only available in Office 365. And at the current time, April 8th, 2019, it's only in the Insider Edition. If you have Office 365 and you want to sign up for the Insider Edition, just search Google Insider Edition. Boom, you can sign up. Now over on the sheet 1545, this is what we want. I want to type 10 rows of data, and instantly I get a random 10-row table. If I hit the F9 key, these values are randomized. If I change this to 15 and hit Enter, that is amazing. Now what good is a random set of data in a table form? Well, anytime you need to teach, make a presentation, or show someone how to do something, that's where this skill comes in. Now, before we can randomly pull from our product list, sales rep list, and randomly generate sales numbers, we need to look at how to generate the number 1 to 9 for this data set, because we randomly need to say in our lookup formula using index which row in the data set we're pulling from. And then over here, we need to randomly generate between 1 and 6. Here's where it equals rand. Rand has been around forever. That generates a random number between 0 and 1 with 15 digits using a uniform distribution. Rand between, that's been around for almost a decade. That generates numbers between a lower and upper limit as an integer using a uniform distribution. And rand array, this is a new dynamic array function in Office 365. It'll generate random numbers based on a uniform distribution if we give it how many rows, columns, what the min and max in rand between, that's the lower and upper. And then here's the cool thing. We can decide to generate integers or decimal numbers. Now, before rand array, if we wanted decimal numbers, we'd have to do RAND between with a lower and upper, and then divide by, for example, 100 to get penny values. But now we have the integer argument so we can decide whole number or decimal. The rows argument tells us how many rows of numbers we want to generate. Cell C2. And since this is a dynamic array formula, it will spill automatically. So I do not need to lock that. Comma. Columns is how many columns you want in your returned RAND array. I want one, so I'm going to type comma to skip over it. The min is one, comma, the max. Well, the information for what the max number is comes from how many data points we have in this list over here. So I'm going to use the rows function. I'm going to count how many rows are in that product list, close parentheses. Now, comma, this is the integer. I'm going to leave it out for a second, close parentheses. Watch this. When I hit Enter, it totally spills. Now, the dynamic array formulas, if you click up in the top cell, that's where the formula lives. All of these other formulas don't actually live in the cells, but you can refer to those numbers. And we can see the default is decimal, F2. So in the last argument, comma, Decimal integer, 0, 1. I'm putting a 1 and Enter. That is amazing. That will tell the index function which row to pull from. If I hit the F9 key, of course, those numbers are randomizing between 1 and 10. Now notice that is a spilled array, F2. So now I use the index function to look up. The array I'm trying to look up, those are the values I'm trying to go and get and bring back to the cells. I highlight, comma. And the row number now is populated with a spilled array of numbers. So index will randomly pull and deliver all the looked up product values randomly. Close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, that is amazing. F9, F9, F9. I come up here, 10, Enter. F2, I'm going to cheat. Highlight this, Control-C, Escape. Edit mode, Control-V. Click to drag and move, resize. Click to drag and move, resize. 
Now I have the array the right size and the number of rows. Enter. Now let's try this 15 and Enter. That is beautiful. Equals rand array. There's my number of rows, comma, comma, the min. I'm just going to hard code this in here. We could link this to the cells. The min will be $1, comma, and the max will be 2,599. Now close parentheses, and when I spill this, it has decimals, which is what I want, but I want to round them. So I'm going to come up and round, comma, number of digits, 2, to round to the penny. Close parentheses and Enter. Now if I hit F9, 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 come up here and say 5. That is amazing. Now, when we use rand array, it pulls uniformly when it randomizes. There are other ways to randomize variables. On the home page of Excel is Fun, scroll down. Lots of cool playlists here. Business Analytics. I'm going to click. So many amazing analytic videos in this playlist. But Video 65, create random variables. And I show you various statistical techniques to create different distributions of variables. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.